Hey friends, in the last video, y'all know that my car broke down, so here's a little update. I spent a few days with my car just parked in front of the house. I focused on journaling, applying to jobs, and meal prepping for the Raw Vegan Vegan Challenge. Now, during this time, I did get a lot of denials due to lack of experience, and I really just had to convince myself that it was just time to take a rest and that all I will work it all out. This video doesn't tell Honda's final decision, but if you want to know more, let me know and I'll make a video. Thanks, my pain away. So right now I am about seven minutes from Honda and um, I've been, didn't get good sleep at all last night because I'm just like, you know, y'all please don't let my car break down while I'm on my way there. So, so I am just trying to get my At the next light, turn left. Um, as of right now the check engine light is on but that i am a light haven't come back on and um check charging system haven't come back on yet i am still fairly close to the house but i am away like the, when i last drove my car came on like at the next corner so and it's driving way better than it did when i had that old battery in so i don't know anyone's here right now i am an hour and some change early it's like six in the morning but i just was trying to prepare for if the car doesn't make it trying to get it here on time like calling the tow truck and still having some time to wiggle but um yeah i don't know what to do so i think like my biggest thing is that i don't want to pay 200 and something dollars for a diagnostic when it's just a check engine light right now so part of me want to go to like AutoZone and get that check engine light red for free um and then go from there but part of me is like just go ahead and get the diagnostic because the last thing you want to do is think it's nothing and then be broke down on the side of the road <sighs> so i don't know i, I guess i'm just going to pay 200 dollars for the diagnostic and um that's just a lot of money um, and it, yeah, they said that the money can go towards like getting a repair, but if there's no repair, then that's a waste of 200 and something dollars. I don't know. I guess it's never a waste to know what's really going on. I guess. I don't know. I know I'm super early. Ain't nobody here, but <sighs> Alhamdulillah. So it's a, it's about 6 40 AM now. Um, someone just pulled behind me. Um, one, I hope I'm in the right spot, the right, the right dealership. Two, if I could get my car fixed, I would really greatly appreciate that. I would never take my car for granted again. Not that I ever did, but like me and my baby have been through so much. Like her name is Skylar and like, I just don't want to go through buying a whole nother car and I'm just trying to prepare myself for whatever news I get. Yeah. So my gut told me I was in the wrong spot. I was facing where I'm supposed to be this entire time. So now I'm driving to the very next building. And I probably should have known that, but I didn't. 